Welcome to Smashing Childhood Cancer, hosted by MSOE, I believe. Uh, working, still working through a few things, um, but we got our first match started off with Panquick and Xylo versus Nation of Nervous. Panquick and Xylo, uh, well known Mario and Bayonetta players, respectively. Uh, Nation and Urbez. Nation normally plays Mewtwo, but it looks like he's playing, picking up Pokemon Trainer for this game. And haven't seen much of Urbez, but I believe he does play a fair bit of Banjo, yeah. from what I've heard. Urbez is a um, Banjo and... Uh, what's the word? Doc player? Doc, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's been playing a lot more Banjo lately. Uh, I've been wondering how the whole double combo setup is going to work out with Bayo and Mario. But I mean, I suppose if they can get him to separate side of the stage and just go at him, it should work out fine. Yeah, I think uh, Bayo wants to separate, you know, their opponents uh, so that they can do like little 1v1s. Mm, yeah. Um, so, Bayo will probably have plenty of chances for uh, uh, which time, just due to the extra projectiles and extra attacks being thrown around and whatnot. Uh, currently, they're pretty separated. I feel like uh, both Nation and Urbis would uh, benefit from pushing them off to one side of the stage, so I'm uh, kind of trying to see them do that here, but it's going to be difficult, especially when they're both off, they're just both off stage like that. Yeah, I, I, I think that um, what they're doing now, uh, what they're doing now is, you know, they're doing really well to stay alive, really. Like, Mario's at 135, he hasn't died yet. Um, Oh, Bayo's gonna combo, try and get this kill, doesn't get it, uh, makes it back with a flare blitz. Ooh, nice follow-up. Mm, you know, Charizard having strong attacks, definitely gonna benefit them against two, rel like, a midweight and a lightweight of Mario and Bayonetta. Yeah, uh, they're... Xylo ready to uh, be defeated any time here. The one thing that Blue Team does have on their side is that, you know, like you said, they are a bit heavier uh, in general. Yeah. Well, I mean, it depends on which one Nation decides to stick with. Uh, we saw a lot of Bulbasaur, not Bulbasaur, Squirtle in the early game, but now he kind of seems to be sitting more on Ivysaur. But we can see Bayonetta yep. just doing her thing. Oh, oh, he's not going to commit to chasing more. Although he just... Oh, oh that smoothie was too crunchy for him. <laughs> I believe that was an SD there. Oh, and this is kind of... Uh, Nation could take a stock here. Oh, and he does. Mm, I would have expected a run-up up smash or something. He just kind of tried comboing out of Bayo's throw, but it didn't do enough knockback to hit him out of the grab, so... Yeah. Unfortunate there. Definitely could have got the kill. No. by the way, do the donations currently on the stream go to charity, or do they go yes. to MSOE? Uh, all the donations that you, you know, send through our PayPal, MSOE Esports, will go to charity. It is, of course, a charity stream for uh, Smashing Childhood Cancer, I believe. We are being sponsored by the Mac Fund and MSOE Esports currently. And Direct Supply. Direct Supply? Okay. Yes, Direct Supply is our biggest sponsor for this event. So right. shout out to them. Yep, give them a good thanks. Uh, good people there, you know. Always good to contribute to charity and uh, especially such a good cause like this. Game 1 going to Panquick and Xylo. Uh, let's see. Still working on some technical gif difficulties. No, oh, we're good, we're good. We got a nice stream. Oh, it's a decent stream, yeah. It's, ooh, did we get a new setup? Uh, sort of. For I got, doubles? I got a... Yeah, this has been around since the oh, last yeah? time we did doubles. This is a newer setup, yeah. Good to hear. Alright, so Nation going his Mewtwo. This is his main. Um, I know he's been trying to me mess with the Pokemon Trainer. Uh, but this is the one I know him for the most, so I want to see what he can do. switching to Mario, too. Definitely, entirely, differently character setup. Oh yeah, they both switched. I didn't even notice that he went to Mario. The Mario Ditto. Uh, I feel like Mewtwo's gonna benefit a lot from just the fact that Mewtwo has very large attacks, and I'm hoping that he can catch both of them out if they get him to sectorize onto one part of the stage. The one thing he has to worry about is, yes, now he has more... What's the word? He has larger swings. Disjoints? Yeah, but... But the, they're not disjoints. They're not really disjoints. The biggest issue is that now he disjoints. gets comboed a bit harder consistently by uh, Bayonetta. Yeah. He's a lot lighter of a character. I think he's lighter than Ivysaur, actually. He's yeah. He's a very so light, have, light character. Yeah, Mewtwo is very floaty, very very interesting, very hard to play. Um, But if you can meet a good Mewtwo, half the time they're top tier, half the time they're, they're like... I've, I've heard, I've heard <laughs> him say that. 
Yeah. So let's hope. Okay. Ooh. Still alive. That teleport yeah. goes a large. Kind of settled to neutral, but the reverse up smash, killing off, you know, killing off Mewtwo and putting Urbis in a bad situation. Okay, comboing more. It's kind of what happens in this kind of setup. Lots of combo characters leads to lots of combos. Ooh, Nation nice, taken. Nice er, Nation taken. Er, Zylo. Yeah, chasing super far up there with that up air. Oh, uh, more combos. Is he dead off this? Is he dead? Oh, not yet. Some good DI, hopefully. Yeah, very close though. That's oh, really that's very questionable. Hopefully that puts him in a situation where he can't be easily comboed by Bayonetta. Wow, he makes it back even farther. Ooh, than and the forward tilt taking wait. it. This is kind of an odd neutral situation where Nation and Urbis are both at high percent, or were, and that's very dangerous for them to get into the game with because of, you know, easy killability. Ease of killability. Alright, nice little 26% combo from Xylo. Mm -hmm. Up air strings, chasing him. Oh, he gets caught in jab though. Which kind uh, of happening on the other side of the map. And they're up two stocks on red team. It's going to be a hard way to come back from this situation. Oh, double jump. Okay. Panquake oh. sitting there, kind of to keep both character, both Xylo and Panquake doing a really good job of keeping both the fights separate, and I feel like that's really in their favor, especially against you know, Panquake might be not Panquake, Nation might be oh, oh yes, Nation using his Shadow Ball instead of most likely his aim to be up B. He, he might have wanted to double jump out or oh, whoa, <laughs> that was a bit wonky. I like that though. He actually wished time to pummel. Yeah. Which is would've, really cool. If he had wish time to throw, he would have had invincibility to an entire witch time, though. Yeah, right. So good on him to recognize that. I feel like Urba's best bet is to go for a couple of... Like, try to use some throw situations to separate and then punish. Because, oh, uh, they yeah. planned that out. They planned that out. They, at some point, they told each other, oh, we're going to do this when we get the chance. All right, so that's a quick 2-0 from Pankwick and Zylo. 